case, we need to create a, a closed loop between who is paying and who is receiving, who is ordering and who is receiving. It should usually, unless it's a gift, it should be the same person paying, ordering and receiving. In traditional commerce, there were two parties involved. There was a customer, and there was a supplier. The customer would give money to the supplier, and in return, the supplier would give some Good or s goods or services to the customer. Now enter e-commerce and suddenly the customer and the supplier are not in the same room. So what happens then? Well, now you need to have someone in the middle who takes care of delivering the goods. So you need the logistics provider. And you need someone to deliver the money. So you need some form of payment provider. What happened with these pizzas was that um, the payment was delayed so that instead of giving the money and having the order delivered, uh, an invoice was sent. But the invoice was sent to the wrong person. So a third party is introduced, the payer. And the invoice, instead of being sent to the order, it was sent to the payer. This took a few days, of course, to send the invoice. Uh, and in the meantime, the pizza was delivered and eaten. And the person who actually ordered it was gone. So how could this have been prevented? Well, this needs to be prevented by keeping a tight loop between the orderer, the payer, and the receiver being the same person. It's rather simple then. It's rather simple, yes. You may need to make sure that even though you have played different roles in this scenario as uh, orderer, payer, and receiver, that it's actually the same actor doing all three roles. So this could easily have been uh, checked by, for instance, making the payment in advance or by having the logistics person, the pizza delivery man, checking that the person receiving the pizza was actually the same person that ordered it. Or at least to take down the details so that it could be verified later who it was. So uh, this uh, service that was started in a uh, few weeks ago, it's uh, more or less uh, fault by design? I think it, it was an omission. It was very much like the um, Tay uh, scandal. Uh, some part of the design was not considered. And thank you for viewing this episode of Architecture Corner. See you next week. See you next week. Bye.